the BMW M3, the second generation, subdued elegance, innovative technology, and a strong inline six cylinder. While the focus on the E30 M3 was competitiveness, this changed with the E36 M3. Here it was important for us to find a combination of racing technology and an increased ability for everyday use. The aim was to exploit the limits on both sides. This car we called afterwards High Performance Near Series Car. The heart of this M3 is an inline six-cylinder engine. 286 horsepower accelerate the coupe within 5.9 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. This engine should fulfill the worldwide emissions legislations. It should have a very smooth idle position, but it must also feel like a racing engine. In our case, it was not only a mechanically perfect engine, but also the worldwide introduction of our variable camshaft alignment. The exceptional engine characteristics were reached with the continuous variable camshaft alignment, VAMOS. Thanks to this technology, we were able to cover both the idle and the top performance position. But the second generation M3 also differs visually from its predecessor. This car stands for understatement. Special characteristics are the aerodynamic shape of the side mirrors. They reduce the air resistance. It looks relatively harmless. When you sit inside, you find a beautiful and comfortable vehicle. After starting the engine, you notice this is not a normal engine. And when you keep your foot on the accelerator and the engine revs up until 8,000, you know this is almost like a racing car. Over the time, BMW M adds other attractive models to the vehicle portfolio. One of them, the BMW M3 GT. With an output of 295 horsepower, it enters the market in the end of 1994. Besides the coupe, also in this sporty lineup are the M3 limousine and the M3 convertible. After the model update in autumn of 1995, the series M3 is equipped with more power. A new 3.2-liter engine brings 321 horsepower on the road. Obviously, the complete package was perfect. That means the offered power, the understatement, the comfort and the possibility for everyday use, the worldwide implementation and the model update. Through the selling period, we provided new technologies that kept the model attractive. I remember the sequential M gearbox. For the first time, we introduced it in the E36 M3. We were very proud. With this technology, we went into worldwide series production ahead of Ferrari. The second generation M3 was a bestseller. This series rolled off the production line more than 71,000 times and even outdid the success of its predecessor.